Do you really need Apple Care Plus? Now that Apple's coverage includes unlimited repairs, paying for an extended warranty might seem like a good idea, especially if you've ever cracked one of these. But the odds are most people won't need it. Let's get into why it's usually not worth it to pay hundreds of dollars to insure your iPhone or your other Apple products for that matter. Apple is pushing a new plan for its latest high-end phones. The old plan covered up to two incidents of accidental damage per year. Now, the new plan covers unlimited incidents. There's a couple reasons you might think you need coverage. You might be scarred by an experience that happened years ago when your dangling headphones couldn't save your iPhone screen from cracking. Or maybe your iPhone 6 never recovered from that drop in the toilet. At the same time, it's expensive to replace a broken phone, especially now that a lot of high-end models cost $1,000 or more. Then there are the psychological elements at play. Experts say our phones are so important to us that we might just feel the need to insure them just for peace of mind. But you may not realize what it all costs until something goes wrong. If you need a screen replacement on a phone like this, under Apple Care Plus, you're paying $298. Using the Genius Bar without Apple Care, that'll cost you a bit more. Third-party repairs may be cheaper, but if they don't use authorized parts, you might forfeit Apple's limited warranty. Self-repair is also an option, but the savings aren't great, and most of us wouldn't know how to safely perform surgery on an iPhone anyway. If you need your whole phone replaced, that's another story. With Apple Care Plus for an iPhone 14 Pro Max, you'll pay at most $418 for a brand new phone, and you can do this twice under one plan. You'll end up saving if you end up breaking any of these other Apple devices too. These numbers matter, but what's most important is really your odds of actually breaking your iPhone. All of Apple's iPhones since the iPhone 7 have dust and water resistance, and screens have stronger reinforced glass from one generation to the next. That higher durability is one of the reasons smartphone users overall are replacing their phones less often. Most people don't even break their smartphones, and many who do just live with the damage. AT&T says some people are way more likely to break their smartphones than others. If you're under 35 years old, if you have kids, if you're unemployed, and if you don't go to college, you're among those who break their phones the most often. You're also more likely to damage your current phone if you broke your last one. And psychologists noted that when smartphone makers push a new device and you subconsciously know you want it, you become more careless and are more likely to damage the one you already have. Frankly, even if you're not at higher risk for breakage, you should probably just put a case on your iPhone. When you just examine how much you're saving if your phone breaks, Apple Care Plus seems like a good deal. Just know it's an even better deal for Apple. The company groups Apple Care with other Apple services, and that business makes more and more money each year. Experts say Apple is likely being generous with its repairs because it knows most people won't need one. That's the nature of insurance. Your phone may already have loss coverage if you pay for renters or homeowners insurance. There's also third-party coverage available for a fraction of the price. When you have Apple Care Plus, you really only benefit if you break your phone. And if not, you've forked over hundreds of dollars to Apple over years. For most of us, that's a lot to pay for peace of mind.